So when you, let me, let's talk about this character. Um, when you started, you know, researching Mira and then started trying to imagine your own interpretation of the character, what was that process like? Was it really just about researching and, you know, reading as much as you can, or was it about finding a way into it personally and, you know, finding a way to bring yourself to her? Um, well, that's a good question. I think for me, honestly, the, the most of the battle was in um, getting, you know, getting enough, well, getting familiar enough with the character to, to, um, to justify um, participating in the comic book world that I, up until that point, um, was kind of, you know, admittedly a little ignorant to, and I'm familiar with, you know, I just didn't, it's not a world I'm familiar with. And I thought the I had a vague sense or a vague understanding of what I could expect the representation of my character would be based on the vague rep uh, understanding of the representation I had seen in women um, in that particular genre, especially. Um, and so I was pleasantly surprised when uh, when I read in you know when when I heard that she was an empowered superhero in her own right, when she was a badass you know kick-ass empowered woman with agency. And then I was even more pleasantly surprised when I read in the comic book uh, that same sensibility echoed in just right out of the gate, right right off the bat. Uh, she, you know, uh, is rescuing this town and, and, and says something to someone who mistakenly uh, asks if that was Aqua Woman and she stops and she says, no, I have my own name. Uh, my, I'm my own person. I have my own name. My name is Mira. And I was like, oh yeah. That, that to me was representative of the kind of character I wanted to play. And so uh, from that point on, it was just, it was icing on the cake.